So um, Jamie Hernandez or Jaime Hernandez says, since you see so many problems, why don't you make an AI robot of your own without these problems? Well, Jaime or Jamie, actually, I got good news for you. So check it out. Did you know that before Google was popularized, Korea also had a search engine, very powerful, still a very search, powerful search engine called Naver, but they managed to not hit worldwide. Also, before Facebook became popular, like five to ten years in advance, there was a social media called SciWorld that was invented in Korea that did not manage to get popularized throughout the world, but Facebook did. Lastly, before WhatsApp, there was, is an app that was invented in South Korea called Kakao Talk. It's exactly the same as WhatsApp, but they were always ahead of the game. Now, the reason I'm telling you all of these is because Koreans have brilliant brain, brilliant mind. Uh, they came up with this brilliant invention uh, within the Korea country itself, but they seem to fail hitting onto the international market. So there are a lot of things that Koreans know that they predicted that would happen in the West, but they did not manage to uh, popularize themselves with the invention they made. And this is one of the example why I'm making this video, because there's a username called Toruk. Um, actually, I don't know whether you can see from the channel, but we'll get onto it later on, but it's a robotic company, okay? They invent robots and they're a very, very small company. Sadly, they only have 21 subscribers, despite they have a really good video quality of showing what sort of robots they are uh, developing at the moment. Somehow, luckily enough, I managed to get hold of uh, the developer. I asked the developer how much it's going to cost. He actually said it's going to cost between 2,000 to 3,000 US dollars. Now, I don't truly believe that that's going to be the actual cost. I don't think anyone's going to buy it for that quality. It actually walks. It has the cuteness between the, uh, well, it has the cuteness of the uh, Anki Vectors expression, but also the technology combined of Boston Dynamics robots. So, if you imagine those two combined together and become a household robot, that's exactly what they're onto at the moment. So um, I'll just get into the details of their channel. I promised the developer that I'm going to popularize as much as I can through my channel uh, of their, their YouTube website. But I just thought like, like what I mentioned earlier on, all these companies that could have hit the international market, I think I want to Approach to you guys, whoever my viewers are, if you support companies like Turok, um, I'm sure the price of the robot sales is going to go down as well, but you're going to see a lot of benefits because Koreans have fantastic brain. You have to support them. Um, you, you heard about K-pops, the K, uh, K this, K that, the, the dramas and soap opera films. I mean, they're doing very well at the moment, aren't they? So. Um, let's get on with the detail of their website, see the robots, the details, flick through some of the video clips, and um, I hope you can support, subscribe to the channel of Turok. They are official robot company based in South Korea. So here it goes. Right, so this is Turok's official YouTube website. They, unfortunately, they only have 21 subscribers. They have a very high quality video recorded where only 28 view has watched their latest video, which was uploaded five days ago. It shows vid like they have a decent amount of videos. So let's go to videos and flick through that. Um, it has a cuteness of um, Anki Vector, as you can see, uh, sleeping next to uh, my mobile phone, but also it can walk and um, it has a lot of this cute expression they also have this pre model that was in development facial recognition um, face tracking so you can see all those uh, fantastic videos um, but it seems not a lot of people are um, have discovered i think that's the that's the shame of it the name of the robot is liku or lick you or <laughs> like you i think it's like you actually they meant it like you but you can imagine um maybe they most of the time they get the english uh, writing wrong or maybe i'm the one who misunderstood their name but anyway if you click on the latest video you can see that let's just flick through here here you go volume 
So this is uh, motion expression, eye contact, and voice synthetics, okay? So you can see those cameras are there, and uh, stretching. Very cute. I think there's another camera there as well. That's um. You can walk. I'm sure I saw that robot leg component somewhere, but you can see it's a combined, still in development. It can wave at you. Eye blinks. It's fantastic. I mean, hmm. for two or three thousand US dollars, would you buy it? So that there you go. So those are the example videos that you could actually watch, um, and it look it's really well developed. It, it has a cuteness of it. It's it almost looks like a like two or three year old kid who's just about to walk, um, and um, there's also the catwalk of the. That's the logo of the company. That's a previous model. It looks like one of those cartoon characters I saw before. So it has a better walking system, I think. Was it similar to this previous one? Anyhow, so that's the pre-model, I think. And the one that we, fought, we saw before was, oh, it could do moonwalk as well. Brilliant. But anyway, so this is the company that I reckon desperately needs your um, support. And um, I don't know how. I mean, I'm I'm in, I'm in contact with the actual uh, developer, as I said. If you want to contact that person, I'm sure if you want approach to me or to the actual person, you you might be able to reach to them. But anyhow, I just want to make sure you guys are aware that there's a company called Torok out there that they're currently developing a robot called uh, Like You. I think that's what they meant or Liku. And I'm pretty excited about it. I really hope they could uh, reach to the international stage and make themselves well known. If you happen to know any other robots that are available equivalent to this sort of stage, please let me know. But I think this so far, the expression, friendliness and the technology wise, this robot has a huge potential uh, to become the next popularized Korean made uh, home, home robot that we are expecting all along. I don't think it actually has the um, Alexa or Google Home system ready up at this stage. That's what the develop developer said to me, but well, who knows? I mean, those are the easy stages, isn't it? But anyway, um, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys could also subscribe and support the company called Torok on their project of Laiku or Liku. Thank you. Bye.